But this in, environmental movement has absolutely conned our politicians, and I think it's an absolutely disgrace. And as uh, Flag Australia's motto is, no farms, no food, no Australia. You, and uh, that's the way we're heading, unfortunately. Peter, you've told me that some of these measures, for example, the low flow, flow bypasses, have been proposed by coalition or Liberal governments. Yes, allegedly, David, uh, under, I think it was the Morrison government, and uh, I'll stand to be corrected, uh, gave uh, eight and a half million, thereabouts, uh, federal money for these low flow bypasses. The state Labor Party, uh, allegedly four million. Uh, so that's about 12 and a half million to put these devices, which, mind you, what taxpayer had a say in this? It's taxpayers' money uh, that's being put in to a device that we are going to uh, not be able to protect our homes, our stock, our implements, and uh, grow less food. So, you know, I think you've got to start joining the dots here. Who's behind all this? And uh, I think it's a higher power. I think our politicians have been hoodwinked, and I think it's a disgrace. We need some decent, good, strong politicians in there that actually care for this country. We really do. Peter, uh, when I was a little boy, all of our electricity came from coal and the, the coal power station wasn't that far away. And uh, hopefully we were, we, once they built more dams and more dams were certainly on the agenda in New South Wales, some magnificent dams were built when I was young or before I was born. No dams or very few dams since the Borragamba of any decent size have been built in New South Wales. The Borragam Dam is a magnificent dam and it maintains Sydney and thank heavens it was built before this current period. But what I notice when you go around the country is a vast part of the country now is covered by solar farms, ugly looking wind farms, which apparently drive people mad if they live near them. They take up enormous amount of land on top of that, because the electricity then has to be moved from those areas, instead of just coming not far away from where the coal was or, or from the, uh, the dams where the hydro could be produced, there have to be massive transmission lines. They've put massive transmission lines through the Snowy, where that ridiculous project Snowy 2 that Mr Turnbull instituted, which has many times the cost of what it was proposed originally, taking much more time than ever it was proposed. But there have to be these massive transmission lines which are going through the snowy, which are going to go across farmers' farms. Heaven knows what they'll do to them and do to the cattle as they go over them. So the whole country has to be covered with massive transmission to bring this so-called renewable energy uh, which uh, Professor Primer calls unreliable energy into the cities where the electricity is needed. And this is going to take away, is it not? It's going to take away more good farming land in a country which is not replete with good farming land because of the lack of water. Is that the situation? No. Is that a, a fair summary? A very fair summary. And you mentioned a great man, Professor Ian Primer, speaks a lot of common sense. Um, no, you're right, David, and all these transmission lines and roads and everything like that, they've got to clear this land. But, you know, we can't even cut down a tree on our farms that's got a hollow in it because it's habitat. You know, a bird might be nesting in it and so on. Um, you know, we, we've we really got to get back to some common sense, some basics. But I honestly feel that this country is, is in just such a terrible mess with people in politics that want to destroy this country and uh, it's very, very sad. Very sad. Uh, you know, we need good people. I mean, you should have a general of Australia. Uh, we need good people uh, in there, strong people that are going to say, we're not taking any notice of these non-elected dictatorships. We're going to run our own country. We're going to get back to being self-sufficient in food. And do you know what? We could supply the world, David. We, we could be a very, very rich country. We could supply the world with clean, healthy food. And have a look at our coal. Where does our coal go? China. So what do they make? They make the wind turbines. They make the solar panels. Solar panels are what last about 15 years. So we're going to be the dumping ground for these solar panels. Uh, what a, a real mess. I, I feel very sad to what's happening in this country.